finally, uh, Joseph, over to you. Obviously, delays are part and parcel of boxing. You, you can't always control everything. Uh, but again, as a last junior, how does this make you now re-pivot and, and what is your approach from here? Uh, firstly, thank you all for coming today. Good morning. Um, just uh, the news of not being able to fight uh, the 12th December was quite, uh, it's quite hard. You know, preparing in camp and doing some sparring and, and doing our rounds at the gym. And I wanted to really get a good fight in and a good win in before Christmas so I could celebrate. But, um, you know, hopefully we get the sword and hopefully I uh, wish Junior all the best with his uh, surgery tomorrow. And hopefully he can recover well and, and get 100% so we can you know, put on a great fight you know, in the new year. In the meantime, like Kevin mentioned, I'm going to take some time off and relax. You know, boxing. Just you know, running and keeping the cardio up. And once we lock in this new day, I'll be fully prepared to give it 100%. Thanks, man. I appreciate your time today. Uh, all of our men up on stage. Can I ask um, your appreciation just about your sparring? I mean, how's the sparring been, particularly with uh, David Neaton, maybe the, over the past week? The sparring was very good. Um, uh, like Kevin mentioned, our camp was <coughs> on point. And we had three more weeks until we were, we were be peaking. So sparring's been good, and we got in 50 rounds, and they were getting better and better each time. Have you heard David Nika over the past week at all? Have I heard him? Yeah. I hear you guys have been going pretty good, so hard that you may have even injured him a little bit. True. No, he's not. He doesn't look injured to me. <laughs> Are you injured? <laughs> no. Come up, David.